Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. I'm Amy from Beverly Hills Estate Jewelry, presented by Gem Shopping. And I cannot wait to talk about some really fun pieces today. We're gonna talk about something I truly love, watches, and this is gonna be a special treat. So let's take a look at our first picture. You have Sean Connery as James Bond. I mean, what's more iconic in 20th century cinema than Bond, James Bond? Nothing gets better. And look at his wrist. He's wearing that amazing Rolex Submariner. This has the nickname of the Big Crown. It is reference 6538. What's also great is he is wearing it on a NATO strap. They use a bunch of different colored NATO straps throughout the film, through the years, and I think it's just a super fun way to wear your watch. I especially love it because that's how I wear my Rolex Submariner. Let's take a look at mine. It's actually super cool. It's from my birth year. And I think that's a really special way to buy Rolexes. Owning your birth year watch is super cool. I have it here on a NATO strap. My wrists are super small, so the traditional oyster bracelet that comes along with this would not fit my wrist. So I also love that that's the way I can use this NATO strap. You see the little bit of the patina on this watch, the classic Submariner by Rolex, done as their diver's watch, but also great because if you walk down the street, you will probably see this on someone's wrist. It is one of their most popular watches they have out on the market. Plus, it's also super fun to wear. Look at it on the wrist. Definitely gives you that sporty but casual look. We can't talk about James Bond without talking about a Bond girl. Let's take a look at our modern day Bond girl, Halle Berry. She's known for being Jinx in the Bond series, wearing an amazing orange bikini and big white belt. I definitely think she drew some inspiration in this amazing Ellie Saab dress. You can see that sheer bodice, the beautiful design work here. Definitely gives me that bathing suit vibe, but on the red carpet. This was done when she walked the Oscars in 2002 and won the award for Best Actress for Monsters Ball. If you take a look at this picture, it's really great. She's wearing this giant emerald ring. I definitely had to draw inspiration on a big emerald. So let's take a look at some of my favorite emeralds because I know you're gonna love them as much as I do. Look at these three magnificent emeralds. I mean, they could have been any one of them Halle Berry could have chose for her looks. But let's go ahead and start right here. Look at this one, Art Deco Original. You have a four carat 78 elongated emerald cut with those insane half moon diamonds on the side. I mean, the shape of that emerald cut with the half moons is perfection. Let's take a look at my second favorite Art Deco emerald ring. You have those amazing stair step baguette cut emeralds, three carat 56 emerald in the center that is GIA certified Colombian. Gives you that bright, rich glow, which we love to see in all of our emeralds. Let's take a look at our third option. This incredible five carat 36 Colombian emerald set in platinum. I love the Asher cut diamonds on either side. Just gives you a different flair where the focus is still on that amazing, brilliant emerald. All of these emeralds are absolutely stunning in their own right. I could totally see you wearing them to your next gala or even on the red carpet yourself. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Throwback Thursday. I know I most certainly did. Getting to talk about emeralds and a submariner what gets better than that? Don't forget, Bond, James Bond, will always be iconic, and you can be iconic in all of these pieces. That was a great episode of Throwback Thursday. I'm Amy, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.